All right, guys, we are back. It is another Recon 2022 full house. And look at these teams. I mean, my gosh. We're, <laughs> oh, no. We got Empy with the three cannon trade here. Uh, Wild Captain Empy. He's got uh, with him Overdose, Either, Spy, Gorilla, Jarl, and Xenophon. Pretty strong World War team uh, there. Maybe he's trying to replicate the Karma strategy we saw in uh, Calvin, Calvin Ball 2022. Opposite them, LSO. No nonsense trade. No cannons. He's got with him. Uh, Mel Sleazier, Hobbs, Wings, Leonardo, Father Xmas, the Nasty One, X, and Schmelkis. Also, extremely strong World War II team. Uh, I'm surprised here. The the uh, Whatever weak factors these guys might have on their teams, uh, if there are any, maybe some of these regular players are sort of, on both teams, I would say, are w totally balanced out by the proliferation of uh, really skilled World War II players here. So it's hard to say who actually has the advantage. Um, it's a seven players... So LS Team LSO does have a one-player advantage, and of course they've they've traded for uh, no cannons, <laughs> which is uh, going to give them a huge infantry advantage. So this will be extremely difficult uh, for Team MP. He says we needed more cannons to be honest. What a madman! Uh, so whatever he's playing at here, I'm expecting big things. He's given one cannon to Overdose, one cannon to Gorilla, and he's keeping a cannon himself. We've got a I mean, undoubtedly, they're going to have to play pretty defensively here. They have three cannons, notes Hobbs. He's uh, keen on this one. And it's a, a going to be sort of a, I expect the defensive play from Team MP. There you can see Xenophon and Jeral moving out uh, onto the plains and out of the swamps. And that is a, a clear, and in the mid here, it is either. These are just scouting missions, uh, undoubtedly, to uh, try to figure out where these guys are at. We do have the planes move from X with Hobbs, Father Xmas, Mouse Leisure, and Schmalkus. That is a pretty strong planes presence. If I were uh, uh, Team MP, I'd be a little concerned here. They should get those cannons working on that as quickly as possible. Spy is there to try to pick up some of those RPGs before that arsenal is destroyed. Schmalkus, Father Xmas there working on that. Now Sleasure uh, getting a lot of uh, those mines getting tossed at him. And uh, he Sleasure there is definitely the target of those cannons. Two of them trying to hit him. The X and Mel Sleasure taking out one of those Xenophon units. Cannons getting a hit there on Mel Sleasure. Spy duking out with Schmalkus. Looks like he's got Schmalkus in the red there. Father Xmas coming to help Schmalkus. And there's Xenophon to put the pressure on Xmas. So retreat. Look at this straight up retreat from Team LSO. They took a lot of hits there and are down in percentages. As uh, Father Xmas is getting gunned down here, he does get one of Xenophon's units. But Spy is going to get him. And now they should be able to press on Schmalkus as well. X is here trying to make something happen against either. Xmas tossing down those RPGs at uh, Spy. Spy dodging those. And now either is going to collapse. After taking out X, is going to collapse on Father Xmas. As Schmalkus tries to extricate himself from the position, uh, he is going to get RPG'd though by Spy. Not quite able to do it. These grenades are going down, though, and this is bad news for Father Xmas. As you can see, Hobbs here is rushing in with LSO to help try to pull this off. As either is now going to be able to join up with Spy and Xenophon. And put some pressure on Hobbs and LSO here. With X. As Schmalkus is uh, coming back to help. Leonardo pointing out that they are down 25%. Did one of those cannons? No. They're just losing a lot of men, I suppose. What few men they have. Father Xmas, of course, was wiped out. Schmalkus nearly wiped out there. However, that's still kind of a win. I mean, it's hard to say. We just rush mid, says Hobbs. He recommends that course of action. Here's Leonardo in the backfield. Against either, he is looking to waste these heals if he can. 
just get you can see he's getting his men there. He's trying to get these uh get uh, get either off him here before he goes to town on these heels. Oh, that was a direct hit on either with an RPG, but it doesn't kill him somehow. They got planes locked down, says Hobbs. I mean, he's kind of surprised uh, how that went down. Hobbs is coming up the mid, though. This was what he said he was going to do. MP calling for that defense in the backfield. What a scattered situation. Team MP is still... Uh, at work here, Spy still trying to make something happen on the planes. As one of those cannons there is taken out by Hobbs. That was the Gorilla Cannon, I believe. Uh, Hobbs is just going to go to work on all of these cannons. Looks like uh, uh, Leonardo got blown to smithereens there. He still got one man. He did waste most of those heals, though. It's a second cannon destroyed by Hobbs. They definitely need to get uh, some defense in here. Flag says overdose. The flag is empty. Lord Scariel could win this right here if he can get there just in time. He's delaying, but he's still going to do it. He's going to make it. Wow. Unbelievable. LSO came up from the swamps there and uh, took that flag, noticing that there was nobody actually standing on it. Um, of course, Team MP was, was losing, you know, one by one, systematically losing their cannons to Hobbs. He was about to take out the last one right there, as you can see. And this was uh, as the backfield was still being exploited by uh, Leonardo. About to bayonet somebody there, as you can see, who's disappearing uh, as he's nearly about to be bayoneted. So a uh, very interesting game that was uh, closer than I would have thought. Uh, Team LSO took a lot of losses there. Um, considering that they had such a huge advantage with the cannons. As you can see, they were down to, they basically spared out all their men. They, they were running out of units. Wings could have handed off one of one more unit to Schmalkus there, but pretty late in the game. I, I suspect they were taking care of some of the defense. Now, Sleizure and Wings, yep, they're holding that flag D down as the last of the planes was just being uh, followed, you know, followed up there by Father Eximus and the Nasty One, who did end up winning the planes, I guess you could say, although um, this game started with a serious reversal for Team LSO on the planes. The, uh, team, uh, team MP was able to, despite those cannons not doing too much that I saw, really, were able to make, you know, reverse that planes attack from Team LSO, put them on the defense, uh, but uh, Team LSO, uh, Hobbs leading that charge, was smart enough to just come right up the mid uh, when he saw an opportunity there and start getting to work on those cannons. His big damage numbers there reflecting that. Five kills, 50 damage. That's from just bayoneting uh, one man there, bayoneting two cannons, and you know about to go to work on the third. So good stuff from Hobbs there, recognizing he had an opportunity and exploiting it. Uh, the cannons themselves, see Gorilla four kills. So he definitely did something. MP three kills. And uh, Overdose, one kill. So I think Overdose was the first cannon to get taken out, or it might have been Gorilla. But either way, Overdose didn't quite stack up with the cannons there. Um, but, I mean, what can you do uh, on a game like this, especially once you start, you know, once Team MP started losing men, uh, it was very hard for them to recover. And you can see here that, indeed, the kills, look at that quick skyrocket there on the planes. Can't see what uh, Team MP's kills look like, unfortunately, because uh, they are in the black. So this just appears black on this, uh, this graph. But you can see pretty clearly uh, the... Uh, uh, Team LSO kills were up, and then this was this flat line here uh, when they were um, uh, getting pushed back on the planes. And then, of course, they this is this big spike here when they recover, go in the backfield with uh, Leonardo leading that backfield attack. And then uh, Hobbs makes that move up the mid with LSO. So there you go. A very convincing win for Team LSO and a wild all-cannon strat from Impey.